Well, guys, today's unboxing just might put a shock to your system. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and this is an unboxing video. You guys know I don't really do unboxing videos like that unless I just feel like there's something really awesome that needs to be unboxed on camera. And today I have not one, but two packages. Two packages from members of the Comics Are Dope community online that are very special to me. Um, you guys know I'm even, I don't pull out this hat unless I'm talking about Milestone and that's been one of the coolest parts about uh, being a comic fan over the last few years, uh, going back in the archives, learning about what Milestone was, uh, reading the original uh, Milestone comics, and then being able to sort of help amplify the signal when the Milestone relaunch was announced a couple years ago. Um, I've been fortunate enough to talk to several of Milestone's uh, creators, uh, people who are writing and drawing on series. Like it's been really cool to be able to feel like I'm a part of this sort of family and, and community of fans and and super fans and all that. It's been a, a real awesome part of my comic book fandom. And you know, we honestly, we have quite the community of Milestone fans online. There's people all over the world all over the country who are fans of milestone and we take milestone pretty seriously we help each other get comics we help each other get all sorts of things and this unboxing video is an example of us helping each other get all sorts of things so gotta give a huge shout out to my man steven as well as my man tim both of which are in the uh comics or dope community on uh uh, Discord. Uh, we are affectionately called the Dope Fiends on Discord. Um, and both of them are also in the Milestone fan group on Facebook, which I am a moderator of. And um, there's a couple of things that I would not be able to get if it wasn't for them. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this. So one of the coolest parts about um, you know, my whole journey as a YouTuber and, you know, being a Milestone fan has been, like I said, helping to boost the signal on some of the new Milestone uh, initiatives and stuff that's been going on. And as a part of that, you know, I've been uh, able to be like friendly online with some of the creators. You, we've had Dennis Cowan on the channel a couple of times. Uh, Nick Draper Ivy, we interact a lot online and even offline now, um, which is really cool to to say that like you know one of your favorite comic creators knows that you exist and like you talk to them on a fairly regular basis that's pretty cool um but you know i got small kids nick was going to be at new york comic-con they announced he was going to be there and i was like there's no way i'm gonna be able to get to new york but if there's anybody in the squad that's going there's something i need you to grab for me so my man tim from the uh, Comics Are Dope community on Facebook, went to New York Comic Con, visited Nick's table, and grabbed this for me. So let's open it. I'm gonna see it for the first time as you see it for the first time. That is, if I have a knife to cut through this tape. All I got are these safety scissors. Let's see if we can get it done. Probably using safety scissors in the most unsafe manner possible. Got the job done, though. All right. Here it is. Here it is. So, this. Is a signed print. Looks like, yeah, this is a signed print. This is one of the variant covers for Static Shat or uh, not Shadows of Dakota, Static Season One, issue number four. This is a variant cover for issue four. Obviously, an homage to Akira, uh, the movie poster. And 
first of all, when I saw this issue, I was like, I need this. When I saw this cover solicited, I need like four copies. And I bought like four copies. And I'm glad I did too, because this was immediately going for like 20, then $40, and then even more at points. I think it's come back down to around 20 if you can find it. Um, but when Nick said he was going to be at Comic Con with these oversized prints of this cover, I was like, oh, I got to get it. I got to get it. He had some other prints that I wanted as well, but if I could only have one, I need this one. And so it is signed by Nick himself right here above the static logo. It's signed in a silver marker. So kind of hard to see, kind of blends in with the whole uh, concrete effect, but fine with me, fine with me. I am so excited to have this. I'm going to have to find a way to flatten it out. Um, it had to get rolled up to fit in the box. If anybody has any suggestions on the best way to flatten this before I frame it, let me know. What's this? Looks like it's probably 11 by 17. But a welcome addition to the collection. Um, I don't know where I want to put it. I've got my milestone wall right here. It's not going to fit on my milestone wall with the original uh, collector's edition posters. I might. I'm probably going to put it by the door where I currently have a Black Panther poster. You'll see it on the next collection tour. So that's the first thing. Huge shout out to my man, Tim, from the Comics or Dope community. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Um, so he grabbed that. And then this. This is also related to Nick Draper Ivy. So... This is a cool little uh, tribute to the homie who, by the way, is writing and drawing or co-writing and drawing Static uh, Shadows of Dakota. And Static Shadows of Dakota, issue six came out a couple weeks ago. Issue seven is set to release sometime later in November, I want to say. But um, anyway, as part of Shadows of Dakota, Nick has been slowly trying to get Virgil to look like his original uh, self. And he's been playing around doing homages to different uh, outfits that Virgil has worn in both the animated series and in comics past. So one of the outfits that he wears is a subtle nod to the original static uniform, but he wears it on a hoodie. And my man, Steven, found a way to design that hoodie in real life. And this, this is that hoodie. I'm gonna put it on. Got this hoodie from my man, Steven. It's a sublimated hoodie. Interesting kind of feel. It's basically an all over print. Um, so it shouldn't fade with wear, but it's that classic lightning bolt hoodie from the original issue number one. Where's I have a static issue one close by. Let me grab it. All right. So you can see how this hoodie is clearly inspired by this costume. And yo, I love it already. I love it already. You know what these print on demand companies, the the, the clothes can kind of come with like an inky smell. So I'm going to have to let this air out for a little bit. I probably won't wear it in the next video, but this is absolutely the hoodie that I am wearing to new, uh, NC Comic-Con this weekend. Uh, I think this video is going to come out on Friday. So come see me tomorrow, November 4th at NC Comic-Con. I'll be here all day Saturday. Um, but yeah, this is dope. So this, uh, this is, this is awesome in two ways. This would not be possible without First, the Comics are Dope community, but also without my man, Nick Draper Ivy. So you should know, Nick, that you have made a lasting impression on this character and on the Milestone fandom just by being you and bringing your artistic flair. So this video wasn't necessarily meant to be a tribute to you, but it's a tribute to you, bro. You deserve it. You worked hard. You made a lasting legacy, a lasting mark on the legacy of static. You should be proud of what you've done. This poster is awesome. This hoodie that you literally designed, you drew it on somebody, now it like lives in person. How crazy is that? Super dope. But look, 
like I said, huge shout out to my homie Tim Sheeran. Shout out to my man Steven uh, for the alley oops for this merch. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for like, you know, all the milestone fans for allowing me to have a place in the fandom and uh, to keep spreading the word, the good news. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome. Read something dope today and uh, make it milestone. Peace.